Welcome to Wind Down Wednesday. Here are your hosts, Jeffrey Tobias Halter and Amanda Hammett. Well, good afternoon and welcome to our show. Today we are talking with Judy Hoberman. Uh, we brought her back, obviously, because she has a huge crush on me, for those of you who, who heard about the, the previous <laughs> show. And so I had to bring her back. Um, we're going to talk to Judy about career challenges and what might be holding you back from accomplishing what you want in your career with her new initiative, The Boardroom for Executive Women. But I'm Jeffrey Bias Halter, and today I'm drinking a very nice uh, Sab Blanc from, uh, uh, from uh, Bordeaux. And uh, Amanda, what are you uh, refreshing with today? Well, I am on the rehydration train today. Uh, it's been it's been a week already, let's just say. So <laughs> here we are. However, I'm very excited about this conversation because those of you who missed episode one with Judy a while back, you need to go find it and go find the video because Jeff uh, found out some new information and, and turned like 15 shades of red. You got to see it. You got to see it. So go check it out. All right. But it is my honor to welcome the woman who made Jeff return 15 shades of red. Her <laughs> name is Judy Hoberman. Uh, she is back on Wine Down Wednesday. And um, in our last episode, besides, besides, you know, embarrassing Jeffrey a little bit, we talked about um, <clears throat> women, sales and leadership. So Judy is the president of Judy Hoberman and Associates, which is a company focused on empowering professional women. She is an award-winning international speaker, best-selling author, trainer, and leading authority on women in leadership. She was a TEDx speaker talking about pre-judging people. She's the author of four books, including Selling in a Skirt and Walking on the Glass Floor. Judy's mission to help one woman a day by following a uh, important philosophy, women want to be treated equally, not identically. Judy, welcome back to Wine Now Wednesday. We are so excited to have you back. Uh, what's your beverage of choice today? So I'm always a water girl. I just, I need to drink water and I drink probably four of these a day and I'm really smart because of it. Uh, you know what? Based on our last conversation, I not buy so much. that 1,000%. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my bio. What do you think? <laughs> there you go. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So Judy, earlier this year, you sent out a survey about career success. So I love to dive into the survey and what you learned from the responses. Then part two of that, Jeff and I want to delve into several of the questions and what you learned and of course, what you're going to do with the data. So that was a long, long round around to let's start at the beginning. What led you to do the survey? What were you hoping to learn? Who did it go to? Just give us the overview. Okay. So I love doing surveys. I do. And I've done probably four or five every time either I'm going to uh, launch something or if I just need some information. So this one was more about um, women in leadership, like what's going on around you. And so it went to um, first connections and a few second connections on LinkedIn. And it wasn't people that would say, oh, I love you so much, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Although some people did say that, but that wasn't who I picked. So we, we picked about, you know, 150 or so women and individually we contacted them. It wasn't a mass right. uh, email because I think that's, that's very impersonal. And the very first thing I did was I asked permission. And when you ask permission, you generally get a yes. So of the 150 ish women that we reached out to 150 said yes, because I asked permission. My goal was to ask them specific questions, but not anything that would be paragraphs. Everything either said in 10 words or less or five words or less, because we really just wanted them to, you know, just think about it quickly and be done with it. It was like less than five minutes. And um, my goal was to hear what they had to say in their own words, as opposed to giving them prompts. I didn't give any prompts. There was nothing there. And so to me, it was very, um, it was real. And some of it was a little raw and some of it was a little surprising. So um, it was awesome. It was awesome. One of the questions you asked was in 10 words or less, what do you think is holding you back from accomplishing what you want in your career at this time? Tell us about the findings. Did anything surprise you? Yeah. So of course I had to print that part out because I couldn't remember all of them. And I didn't, I didn't print all of them out, but it was very interesting that at least um, 10% said nothing was holding them back. I thought that was very surprising that nothing was holding them back because I don't care what level you are or how amazing you are. There's always something that holds you back. 
Um, a lot of them had to do with uh, lack of confidence, spread too thin, mindset, knowledge, um, capital, uh, absolutely nothing but deciding when enough was enough, which I thought was also surprising and interesting. Limiting beliefs, my boss, uh, building the right team, old age, lack of reach, boundaries, balance. So it was th- those kind of things. One another thing that was a little surprising was it, they said focus, but it wasn't just focus. It was minimizing time spent on unnecessary tasks. Mm. So, you know, they they really thought about it, even though it was only 10 words or less. But I was really, you know, it was interesting to see what they said. I was looking for the limiting beliefs and I was looking for the lack of confidence and I was looking for fear and focus. But, you know, my boss was one or getting the right team was, was others. So it was, a, it was an interesting question and, and we got what we were looking for. Interesting. Interesting. So there's another question that intrigued me in 10 words or less. What is the biggest challenge you're having in your career leadership role? So what did you learn from that? The biggest one that was a surprise also was about confidence, but it said extreme confidence. Think about that being overly confident. They have so much confidence and that was a challenge. So, you know, you, you come in and you're like, you know, on the wrecking ball, like you come in and you just like pow through everybody. So I thought that was really interesting to hear. Procrastination came up, um, learning to say no. That was a biggie because you know as well as I do, we say yes to everything and then we say, oh, I wish I didn't say that. Um, A funny one was wanting to be 29 again. Um, No resiliency, limited growth, cash flow because she was in charge of the budgets. So Mm -hmm. she didn't have enough money. Um, Major company growth, not enough company growth. Um, Wanting success more than other people wanted for themselves. And that's always interesting. You can't want something more for somebody than they want for themselves. Not enough of me to go around taking things too personal because she's a people pleaser. And then of course, the big one is always delegation. So, you know, it's those kind of things, but when they say it, now you have something to work with. So yeah, I thought those were pretty cool. So so amazing. And and, uh, for our listeners, we're going to have Judy's uh, survey available to you. We will publish it on our, uh, on our uh, podcast and our websites, and you can go out and take this survey mm-hmm. and um, and feel free to reach out and work directly with Judy. Um, she would absolutely mm-hmm. love to hear from you. Uh, and so uh, we we want to support her and, and her data uh, because I know at some point in time, and she hasn't said this, but something tells me there's book number five oh. that's going to be coming out of these surveys. And she's going to say no right now. And in three years, I know you're going to have another book. <laughs> But anyways, I want to shift gears as we start to wrap up our second uh, conversation with you and talk about your new initiative, The Boardroom for Executive Women. Uh, What would you like to share with us around that whole topic and initiative? Well, The Boardroom is really where um, executive women will gather to elevate their impact, to expand their influence, and to empower the next generation of leaders and, of course, themselves. And so what it is, is, you know, there's a lot of women that are looking for changes. They have a lot of drive. They have a lot of ambition. They have a lot of heart. They have big goals. They want to make an impact. But sometimes they they feel like they're not good enough. And sometimes they've been passed up for promotions. And sometimes people don't even notice them. So what the boardroom is going to do, it's going to be a place where they can gather together, a place where they will be able to get best practices, a place where they can confidentially share in a safe space and making sure that the thing, the tools that they need We're going to be able to give them to them. I have enough experience. There are other speakers and trainers that will be coming in. So they'll be able to do it and be able to talk about some of the things that are a little icky, like being compensated the right way or to decide that when somebody says, what do you bring to the table? They can confidently say, I bring the table. So that's just some of the things that we're going to talk about. Wonderful. Jeffrey, uh, Judy, I I have enjoyed both of our conversations so much. And I think there's so much for us to take away from this. As a woman, I appreciate the work that you're doing for all of us. So thank you. Um, And, you know, for those of you that are listening and that maybe this rings a little bit true for you, of course, I would love for you to uh, reach out to Judy. You can find more information about Judy, her work, her books, maybe her forthcoming books in the future uh, (laughs) on her website, Selling in a Skirt. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you the next time. I'm Jeffrey Tobias Halter. Thank you for joining us this week for Wind Down Wednesday. Thank you for joining us for Wind Down Wednesday. If you like this episode, please subscribe to receive more episodes straight to your inbox.